begin the season of Lent with the words from the prophet Joel, chapter 2, in which the prophet calls out to us and says, blow a trumpet in Zion and consecrate a fast. Now, historically, the season of Lent has been a season of fasting, going to the 40 days of Jesus fasting in the wilderness after he was baptized. It's a time of giving up something, of letting go of something that's in this corrupted creation so that you would turn your attention to God's word, that your heart would be turned by God to God. Now, the whole book of Joel itself talks about a famine, a fast, and a feast. Now, in the first chapter, we have the famine with the locust. The ground is ravaged, and there is no food in the ground. It is cursed. Ever since the fall into sin, the whole creation is cursed. The ground is cursed, and we are connected to the ground. We are dust, and to dust we shall return. We are bound to the ground. And so that famine was brought upon the people of God so that they would recognize and realize that they are not listening and learning. They're not heeding and hearing God's word. You see, by nature, we do not want to gladly hear and learn God's word. We want to run away. We want to go astray. Well, God wakes them up with a famine so that they realize that something is wrong. They are not rejoicing in his voice, and the warning of Moses about the curse has come true. And then it's at this time with the fast, where you consecrate a fast, blowing the trumpet in Zion. You would have a fast of the Lord. You would return to him with all your heart. Now, when we talk about a heart, we're not talking about a hallmark heart, not something that's just about mushy, gushy, emotional feelings and experience. We're talking more about the conscience, the who you are, your whole essence, your mind, how you perceive things. Well, God wants us to understand the reality that we found ourselves in, bound to the ground, connected to the curse, that because of sin, we shall die and go back into the ground from which we were formed. But the Lord doesn't leave us in the ground. He calls us out of the ground. He calls us back to him. Return to the Lord your God with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, with mourning, that you would rend your heart and not your garments. It's not just some outward show, not something externally that you're doing to prove to God how committed you are to him or to show off to others, but it's something that God works internally with his word. So that fasting itself is a call of repentance, that we understand that we're letting go of the ground and we turn back to the Lord so that we have the feast. And the prophet Joel, that feast, of course, has to do with the pouring out of the Holy Spirit, the celebration of the things God has done. In this season of Lent, we are waiting and anticipating that feast of Easter, the feast of Ascension, and of course, the feast of Pentecost, in which we rejoice that Christ came. He came for us. He was crucified and became a curse for us, went into the ground, came out of the ground again, and rose for our justification. In this, we rejoice that the Lord, your God, is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.